How's it going YouTube? It is the computer tips. It's been a while since I last made a video. I did took a long break, two years to be exact, uh, but I'm back again and I'll be making videos more often now. Now let's jump right into this video. So today I want to talk to you about the five Firefox extensions that I think everyone should have for 2017. Um, let's just go r jumping right into number one. I recommend that you honestly should have a password manager. Now in this case, I do recommend LastPass. It's one of the best, in my opinion, password managers that you can use. And the best part about it is that it's free. So simply to uh, get LastPass, you can go to lastpass.com. I'll make sure to include the link in the description for you so that it's easy to get to. Uh, once you go to lastpass.com, all you have to do is click uh, get last pass for free you do that click allow and then it's going to install it straight onto your Firefox browser so let's just wait for this to finish up here so it is taking its time but in the meantime while that gets set up uh, you do have to create an account I believe I already mentioned that uh, but when creating the account you want to make sure that the password you select is something that's not easy to guess don't choose something that you have used in the past make it something new something complex but at the same time easy enough for you to remember so that you don't forget uh, if you do end up forgetting your password, I do want you to know that LastPass support has no way of accessing your account information. So they're not able to regain you access to the account. You have to go through the recovery options. They can be a little tricky at times. If the recovery fails, to be honest with you, you're probably not going to be able to get access to that again. Now they do give you kind of like a nuke option where once, you know, all odds have failed and um, nothing is going right and you're not able to get into your account again you can ask them to basically delete everything off of that account this way you know they don't even have the encrypted files of the passwords that you stored on uh, stored on their servers now once it's installed you simply want to log in and uh, for some reason I'm already logged in uh, even though I just installed it so what do you want to do after it's installed you want to click on my vault from there you'll be able to see all the passwords you have stored I'm going to be blurring this section out just because I don't want you to see the account information that I have right now uh, another thing you're able to do with LastPass is store secure notes anything important that you want to keep safe you can store there securely form fields so that if you're shopping you don't have to fill out the forms yourself or you can save your credit card information if you do end up purchasing the premium option you have the sharing center which allows you to share with others and passwords and logins or even notes you can also take their security challenge where it scouts all the account that are saved onto the LastPass servers and it gives it from 0% to 100% as far as how secure you are the more accounts that have similar passwords or the same password, obviously the, the less secure you are. Uh, as you can see, that's the case with me. I have a couple that have different passwords, but not enough where I'm only at 61% secure. All right, so the next extension I definitely recommend for you to have um, for your Firefox browser is HTTPS Everywhere. So this allows you to encrypt all your web traffic as long as the website supports SSL encryption. Essentially, this uh, add-on is going to force the website to use HTTPS instead of just um, an unsecure uh, site. So uh, the way that you know that it's working if you're on a HTTPS secure encrypted site is by this little lock here this green lock lets you know that the information is secure so it's definitely a great option because not all the time are every website going to automatically prompt you to be able to use uh, HTTPS 
sometimes you need a tool like this one in order to force the website to use it so let's wait for all this to uh, restart here let's give it a second all right Okay, so there we go it's already installed uh, you don't really have to do much to it it's kind of one of those things right out the box it starts working and you can see it right up here and you can disable it here you can uh, reset it or you can block all unencrypted requests if you don't want to go to any website that's not encrypted now the next add-on that I recommend everyone should have is called disconnect let me bring that up real quick and again all the links are going to be in the description for every single add-on here in the video this way it's just easier for you to get to it now this connect uh, makes your web a lot faster more secure and more private and the way it does this is just it blocks a lot of third-party cookies that are tracking you as you're browsing the internet so at the same time by doing so it, it's going to according to them it's going to load up your pages 44 percent faster and you're also going to end up using 39 percent less bandwidth so just click add to firefox click install and there you go you're ready to use this connect me you'll see it up here anytime you're visiting a website it'll show a couple numbers and it's just letting you know how many advertisements analytics or social or content is being blocked as you're visiting the website and now the fourth add-on that I recommend for Firefox is uBlock now there is another one that you can use it's called AdBlock Plus now for me the reason why I went with uBlock instead of AdBlock is because uBlock it's a lot more easier on your computer this is perfect for people that have older computer um, although I mine isn't that old but I still feel that I don't want anything in the background slowing me down, especially not an add-on onto my browser. So I went with this instead. And also, not just that, I found that the AdBlock Plus is letting a lot more things get through. And I feel that they're selling out in a way. Maybe it's just my thinking, but I feel that they don't block as many uh, you know, YouTube video ads. As, as opposed to using blue um, you block origin and that's just my take on it you can use either one play around with it see which one you feel more comfortable with um, I will be including the link to both in the description so again you just have to click add to Firefox it's as simple as that then you'll see it over here you can turn it on and off if you don't want to block something on a website sometimes it may screw things up with a certain site if they're just too ad heavy or if they have you know coding within their website to block you if you try to use an ad blocker to access the website some you'll find that sometimes a lot in a lot of use website they'll tend to do that where they'll block complete access to it so if for whatever reason you need to turn it off you just simply click this button here and it's as simple as that now it's off and you can turn it back on and the last add-on that I recommend that everyone should have is no script security suite so it's the best security you can get in your web browser it allows active content to run only on sites that you trust now I do have to warn you this can get a little bit annoying anytime you visit a website essentially it's going to stop all scripts from running in the background like JavaScripts and things like that and you'll have to manually allow them to be able to run now this can get a lot of really annoying at times just because if you're trying to get to a website real quickly um, you may have to reload it after you give it permission for the scripts to run for the website to run properly but trust me if you can get past that it's really great security add-on to have on your web browser so that actually wraps up this video guys um, if you have any questions comments or concern make sure to leave a comment below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible again all the links are going to be 
in the description to every single add-on and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one